Look at this video. Can you believe an AI video generator generates this video in just a few clicks? Yes, today I am going to introduce a new AI video generator that can create outstanding videos like this. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Introducing Creo AI, a powerful video generator model with image generation and enhancing capabilities. To find Creo AI, open your browser and search for Creo AI. After getting the search result, open the first link. On the home page, you will find the options to generate images, enhance images, and generate videos. Today, we will explore the video generation model. Before that, we have to create an account or log in to an existing account. After successfully logging in, click on the video generation model. Now click on the start button from here. On the next page, you will find a quick tutorial for making videos with Creo AI. Once you find the Open App option, click on it. This is the Creo AI Video Generator dashboard. Here you will notice a sample video. This video generator model works on image to video generation model. Here in the timeline you may notice two images. These are basically keyframes. In every keyframe, you can use different images or the same image. You can add images in two ways. Upload from your computer or generate images with Creo AI real-time image generation canvas. Just enter your prompt in this box and AI will generate an image in real time. For example, I am typing a beautiful Instagram model. You may notice that the image changes after entering every word. In that way, Generate your full detailed prompt to generate the image. As you can see, the image has been added to the timeline. And to upload images from your device, click on this image uploader icon from the uploader tab and then upload your desired image. Let's delete the existing keyframes and generate a brand new video. After deleting the existing keyframes, we will add new keyframes. Before that, we have to set the video duration. At this moment, you can create a maximum of 10 seconds of video. And for every keyframe, you can add a maximum of one image. We will share the method of making longer videos later. Next, come to this setting option. Here you can set the aspect ratio, motion intensity and video loop option. Set all the values as per your needs. OK, now I will upload my images to generate the videos. Here, one thing you have to keep in mind the image aspect ratio should be according to your video aspect ratio. I already generated some images with Leonardo AI. You can watch our previous Leonardo AI tutorial video to learn more about Leonardo AI. Alright, upload the images you want to use in the keyframe one by one. After uploading the images on keyframe, adjust the positions. Next, we have to enter the text prompt on this timeline. After that, enter the prompt in this box. Now you can adjust the duration of the text prompt. For example, I want the same image and text prompt in the first two seconds of the scene. So, I am extending the prompt duration and setting the second keyframe image after two seconds. In this way, add text prompts for every keyframe. You can use the same text prompt in multiple keyframes or scenes like this. Alright, our keyframe and text prompts are ready. Now, come to the preset setting. The preset is basically for video generation style. There are four presets. For Flimpress, you will get results like this. In render style, the results will be like this. This one is for animation. And the last one is experimental. You have to set the perfect preset as per your needs. After all is set, hit the generate video button from here. Now it will take some time to generate the video. Let's first forward this part. And here it is our video is ready. Now you can download this video by clicking on this download button. Alright, now let's talk about how we can create a longer video with Creo. 
For example, I want to create a music video. And I collected images for every keyframe. What we have to do, just delete the existing keyframe and create new keyframes with new images according to the storyboard or scene. After that, enter the associated text prompt. After all is set, hit the generate button. After generating the video, download the video on your device. In that way, create 10 seconds video as per your need. After generating and downloading all the videos, we have to compile them with a video editor. You can use any video editor. After importing all the video clips, insert them on the timeline. Next, insert the audio clips and adjust the duration according to the audio and video. Next, you can add some text, effects and filters to make it perfect. After all is said, hit the export button. After rendering the video, you will find the final video. Let's have a look at our final video.